Hey there, 2018. As a new YouTuber, I thought I would just jump on the bandwagon and try to steal those views by doing a New Year's resolution video. Now, my true feelings about New Year's resolutions is I think if you are wanting to start something at the end of December, you can just start it whenever you want. But I do understand that having a specific date, having that, no, I will start that in the new year, it might be that extra little bit of motivation that you need, and that's great. If it, As long as it gets you going, and if that is what you need to feel that kickstart to get going, by all means, I'm not going to bash that, but I hope that if come February you have some new idea of a way to improve your life or a goal that you want to get started, you're not going to wait until 2019 to start that. That being said, why am I setting New Year's resolutions? Um, if I think that you can just start them whenever you want, I do think, and I do sort of add on to that idea that starting it with the new year, it's a fresh start. It just feels like it's good to start things. I also think this will be kind of a fun video to look back on. I follow a lot of YouTubers um, like Hannah Witten and Becky O or Becky Online who have done similar videos where in the next year they get to go back and see where they were at, the goals that they set for themselves, and sort of talk about them with you guys. So I think that'll be something fun and something I look forward to, and the only way to do that is to actually make a video. So, let's get started. New Year's resolution one, drink more water. And I know that is a cliche resolution, but it's something I don't do enough of, and it's something that is actually trackable, something that's actually measurable, and I do think that's important for New Year's resolution goals. The rest of my goals are a bit more loose um, because I do think you evolve throughout a year and you can't really stick and determine like, oh, I'm gonna feel this way at the end of 2018. So I do like to set some room for growth, but drinking more water is measurable and important. So I'm gonna keep that one in there, even though it's a bit of a cliche I can bet you that half of the New Year's resolution videos on YouTube include drinking more water. New Year's resolution number two, make at least 26 videos this year. Now I know that's very low. I know people who make 26 in a month, but 26 is about two a month. So that's what I think is pretty manageable. Obviously, if I do more than that, I will be very happy with myself, but just doing two a month will at least mean that I'm not disappointed in myself and that I've stuck with YouTube for a full year, which is resolution number three, is to be doing this and recap this video at the end of 2018 and still be on YouTube. I wanna stick with it for at least a year, figure some things out before I decide if I'm gonna just drop it or not. So two videos a month for a whole year, works out to be about 26 videos. I'm actually technically done January as of today, but I'm hoping I can do a little bit more every month. Just that's the bare minimum. I do have school, I do work, I have a lot of other things going on, so I think that's a nice low goal for myself as I'm still learning these things. Resolution number four is to develop a better relationship with my health. Now, that doesn't mean, oh, I have to go to the gym every single day, but I did go yesterday, so good job me. But I want to develop a better relationship in sense of I understand my health better. I actually go to the doctor to do like my yearly checkups and things like that. I am more focused on what I'm putting into my body. And yes, I am trying to set better, more realistic fitness goals for myself. So that's a pretty loose one. Um, it's not very trackable, but it is like a feeling that you know if you have not been kind to your body for a year or a few months. And you know when you have been kind. So... That one is one of my more loose, let's see how I evolve throughout the year, but I do want to develop a better relationship with my health. And finally, New Year's resolution number five, and that is to leave 2018 with less things than I started 2018 with. So, as you can see, I have a number of books, there's a duplicate. I have candles, I have mugs, I do collect things, and I do find it very hard to let go of things that have a small memory, no matter how small, or anything like that emotional attached to it. But in 2018, my goal is mainly more to collect experiences instead of things. So I don't wanna leave 2018 feeling like I have more clutter and I have more things with me. Um, 
I'm hoping that in 2018 I'm going to go off to a different school and I'm going to be moving on with my life. So, you know, moving with things is not fun. But also outside of the practicality of having a lot of things, it just sometimes weighs you down. I'm never going to be a minimalist. I just don't think that's going to be possible for myself. But I do think I can make an effort to donate, give away, and collect less things during 2018. So... Those are my five New Year's resolutions for 2018. If you have any, share them down below. I'd love to start talking to you guys about them. If you have similar ones to mine, drink more water. I bet you drink more water's on there, right? But if you have different ones, let me know. We can share ideas. And I'm hoping maybe halfway through the year I can do a bit of a check-in to keep myself on track. Or at the very least, at the end of the year, I can come back to it and see how I did. So with that being said, have a good 2018. And I'll see you next time. Bye.